everyone, this is Tamara from ShelfAddiction.com, and welcome to episode 59. Today on Book Chat, I'll be sharing my remaining five top audiobooks of 2016, and I'll be introducing you to the Civil Awards. If you haven't heard about those awards, you need to stick around and find out all about it. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and share it. Show your support by rating the podcast and leaving a positive review. The podcast can be found on the Spreaker app, iTunes, Google Play Music, the Stitcher app, and more. If you want to comment on something you've heard during today's episode, you can leave me a comment below or find me on Twitter at Shelf Addiction. So let's just jump right on into my top audiobooks for the second half of this year. My top six choices for the first half of the year was posted in an episode that went up in June. I will be sure to link that below so you can find out what I suggested for the first half of 2016. Now, my first half, I had six choices. I was hoping to get six again, but unfortunately, the second half of the year wasn't as successful for me as far as audiobook listening. There weren't that many that really struck a chord with me, so I honestly really struggled to get the remaining um, audiobooks for the year. So instead of going with six, I decided to settle on five because I, there were five strong contenders. These are, um, in no particular order and they were not all published this year. Uh, I believe only one of them was actually published this year and the rest were actually prior to 2016. I did listen to a good amount of audiobooks that were published this year, but unfortunately, none of them really warranted being mentioned on today's episode, which was unfortunate. Um, on the flip side of that, I'm feeling hopeful as far as the books I'm going to be listening to in 2017, and I hope that I have a lot to recommend for you guys next year. For this go around, I was only to f- able to find five choices and technically I guess I would say say there were three and I say that because my first and second choice are of the same trilogy and my fourth and fifth choice are of the same series so technically there are two books from two series and one standalone like I said I was just really let down, I guess, by the quality of the audiobooks I was reading for the second half of the year. So unfortunately, I don't have a lot to share with you, but these are all stellar books. They are um, in no particular order, as I mentioned, and we should just jump right on in. So we'll start with the first and second books, with which are young adult science fiction titles. That would be Illuminae and Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. These are stellar audiobooks, just stellar, and they have full cast. So for the first installment, which is Illuminae, the narrators are Olivia Taylor Dudley, Lincoln Pop, and Jonathan McClain. And you know, it was amazing. It was amazing how well the three of these people did. The length was 11 hours and 41 minutes. So that is no short audiobook, but it was, every minute was awesome. It was published by the Listening Library and re- the release date was October 2015. Now on audible.com, this has a rating 4.5 out of 5 with almost a thousand ratings. This was an excellent choice for an adult and a young adult person. It really is science fiction. It's almost like a space opera. They take place in outer space. And while it's YA, there are some YA elements. It's unique in that it's not a total YA feeling story. And by that, I mean, the romance is not the leading um, driver of the story. It's actually the conflict and being in space and all these other things that are happening as a result of an invasion, basically, or an attack. I guess this planet and you know, we find out all these things. I'm not going to tell you the story, but essentially, you know, it, it's handled by these two teenagers that used to date, you know, they are the ones, the protagonists trying to bring down the company that's doing all this dirt. And, you know, it's very interesting. Similarly for Gemina, which is book two in this trilogy, which came out October of this year is also written by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And the narration changes a bit. So we have Carla Corvo, Steve West, PJ Oshlan and more. So it is a full cast. And this length comes in at around 12 hours and 30 minutes. And this again was also published by the Listening Library. And this also got an audible rating 4.8 out of 5 with 
uh, just shy of 300 ratings. So it looks as though there was a drop off in listenership from book one to book two, but they are both stellar. Book two picks up with a different teenage um, person. You know, it's a girl who is, you know, the daughter of someone who's in charge of the ship that they're on. And the story evolves even further. We get to see a flip side, a different side of the story. So it just makes the world even more in depth. The story building is awesome. The world building is awesome. The plot is forward moving. And then eventually the characters from Illuminae intersect with the characters from Gemina. And I can just see where this is going. I'm really looking forward to the conclusion of this trilogy. I think it's one of the best young adult science fiction trilogies I've heard thus far in a long while. It's right up there with how much I enjoyed Red Rising by Pierce Brown. That trilogy is also really high on my list. And that is another science fiction one. So I seem to like the science fiction audiobooks in the young adult, especially when the romance is, you know, minor and not you know, taking over the whole thing. So if you're curious to delve into some young adults, and if you like the science fiction genre, if you like space, these are definitely awesome books to check out. My second audiobook is Stand Your Ground by Victoria Christopher Murray. Now this one has three narrators as well, Suzanne Douglas, Madeline Maybe, and James Colby. The length is about 10 hours and it's published by Recorded Books. This was released in September 2015. So it's last year, but this is a very, I think, underrated book the people that have rated it, it has about 136 ratings and the rating is 4.6 out of five. And that is well earned. This is an amazing book. It makes you have all kinds of feelings. It's about the stand your ground law. So it's definitely a serious subject matter. Um, you know, race and stand your ground and people dying and going to jail and getting off for murder and things like that. So there's definitely a lot of heavy content, but it is well done. The narrators really made you feel the pain of these characters, both sides of the, you know, situation. So the author did a great job kind of opening the horizon for us to see more than just the victim and the victim's family. So it was very interesting. This was a book club read and a lot of people really love this book. Some listened to audiobook and some read the book. Everyone who listened to this on audio just loved it. And I wholeheartedly agree. This is one that not many people have been talking about, but I totally recommend it. If you live in a stand your ground state, or if you care about these kind of topics, you should definitely listen to this audiobook. As I mentioned earlier, my fourth and fifth choices are a part of a series. Same as Stand Your Ground, this is an adult book, but except unlike Stand Your Ground, we are in fantasy. You guys know I love some fantasy. So this is adult paranormal romance or urban fantasy, some would call it. And this is the seven series by Danica Dark. Book one is seven years and book two is six months. These are definitely a little older. Seven years was published in 2013 and six months was published in 2014. Both of these were narrated by Nicole Poole and Nicole Poole is just stellar. She does a fabulous job with all these, the men and the women and the accents and everything else. You know, these type of characters that are paranormal, you know, supernatural, they tend to live a long time. So they have a lot of complexity sometimes to their situations and their age and they want to seem wise, but not old you know, because they have these young bodies, but these old souls. And Nicole Poole does a great job with it. I'm super excited to see that she is actually narrating this entire series. So that is a good thing. So seven years, which is book one in the seven series, has a runtime of about 11 hours and 20 minutes or so. And this was published by Tandor Audio. Again, this was The book was released in 2013, but the audio book was released in 2014. So it's a few years old. If you enjoy Laura Adrian or J.R. Ward 
or any, you know, Iona Andrews or anyone else who writes in that paranormal romance genre, you'll definitely enjoy this series. The rating on seven years is 4.3 out of five with approximately 2,800 reviews on Audible. So everyone is really liking this um, first book. And the second book is doing equally as strong. So the length on the second book is about 12 hours and 15 minutes. It was also released in 2014. And the physical book itself was released in 2014. It was December. So we're talking, you know, a couple years ago again. And the average rating is 4.4 with almost 1900 ratings on Audible. So again, people are really enjoying this series as am I. I totally recommend it. It's definitely worth a check out if you are interested in paranormal romance or urban fantasy. It is sweet, but not too sweet dark but not too dark <laughs> I know that sounds kind of cheese ball but that's what it is so it's nothing too violent nothing too over the top but it's also not like really over the top cheesy either you know this the the, the spice level is pretty high but you expect that with her normal romance so it's definitely good uh, definitely bring your headphones for this one though so that's it that completes my 2016 top audiobook recommendations I know there's nothing really highbrow here but guess what? I don't necessarily listen to all highbrow audiobooks. I listen to genre fiction. I love it. If you enjoy genre fiction, then you might want to check out these reads. Uh, you know, if you want some other suggestions, feel free to check out part one. Total, you know, I have 11 for the year between this episode and the previous episode. So please do check it out. So let's talk about the Sybil Awards a little bit. What are the Sybils, you ask? The Sybils are Children and Young Adult Blogger Awards. And this has been around since 2009. Um, I'm very excited because this is the first year that they've incorporated audiobooks. And I'm even more excited because I'm around to judge for the audiobooks. So starting in January, I will be listening to five middle grade audiobooks that have made the final round. So this has been going on for several months now. First, they had... um, accepted nominations and then all of the round one judges listen to a ton of audiobooks to narrow them down for us the round two judges I cannot release what those choices are what the top five are but you'll know in February when we are done listening to those and judging them so you'll definitely want to find out more about that you can find the website at sybils.com c-y-b-i-l-s.com and the sybils awards really just aims to recognize the children's and young adult authors and illustrators whose books combine the highest literary merits and popular appeal so i feel like we have some really awesome audiobooks in this final round and i'm really excited for this again next year i hope i'm able to be a judge next year as well especially because i believe they'll be incorporating young adult um, audiobooks at that point and you guys know I love a good young adult audiobook so if you are not aware of the Sybils be sure to follow them on Twitter Facebook all that fun stuff you can find them on Sybils.com and look into it see if this is something that interests you maybe you can make some nominations next year okay that's it for me today and I'll talk to you guys soon take care If you're enjoying the Shelf Addiction Podcast and would like to show your support, there are a few things you can do. First, you can head on over to iTunes and give a positive five-star review. You can follow me on Twitter at Shelf Addiction. You can follow the Shelf Addiction Podcast on Spreaker, the only place where you can listen live and get broadcast notifications so that you never miss an episode. Most importantly, you can share this podcast with friends and family that love books and audiobooks. Thank you for listening, and until next time, happy reading.